I'm Peggy Peck, MedPage Today, reporting from the RSNA in Chicago. Time is brain when treating stroke patients. One way to shorten time may be to bring the CT scanner to the patient rather than bringing the patient to the scanner. At our institution, when we are treating the acute stroke, time is of the essence. And the portable CT scanner allowed us to re very, very rapidly assess and manage these patients. And we demonstrate in the following talk that this will indeed be associated with better outcomes for these stroke patients. There is only one agent that is available and approved by the FDA for the treatment of a, an acute ischemic stroke, and that is intravenous tissue plasminogen activator, or TPA. TPA is in essence a very dangerous drug, and it has a potential side effect of hemorrhage or bleeding. Therefore, we must balance the risks of TPA with its potential benefits. In order to do so, it must be administered within three hours of symptom onset. Now, the major conundrum that we face is that many patients, when they arrive in the emergency department, they already are at or beyond the three-hour deadline for TPA administration. And we are faced with the challenge of very rapidly managing these patients and bringing them through the process of evaluation within the ER in order to ensure that TPA can be given within three hours when it is appropriate to give such a medication. The portable scanner is an eight-slice CT scanner. It's designed only for head and neck imaging in adults, but it can perform full body imaging in children. Before our department acquired this scanner, we were faced with the problem that it took, on average, about 39 minutes for a patient to get a CT scan when they came in presenting with a stroke. A big part of the problem was that, in our hospital, the emergency department was located within a different building from the radiology suite. Therefore, any patient needing a CT scan needed to be transported up an elevator, down a corridor into another building, and then back down another elevator. This process took about 11 minutes, and that contributed to the long request to scan times that we observed at our institution. What we did within the context of our study is we recorded the request to scan times over a five-month period from the 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. shift, which was when the CT scanner was used, um, and we recorded the request to scan times before and after the introduction of the portable scanner. Following this, we entered all the data into a computer simulation. The computer simulation basically would allow us to, to demonstrate whether or not the likelihood of administering TPA would increase with use of the portable scanner in our schematic versus with conventional imaging, that is conventional fixed CT imaging. Following the introduction of the portable scanner, we report that request to scan times decreased from 39 minutes to 16 minutes. A big part of this decrease is that we no longer needed to transport patients from one building at our institution into another building. Interesting findings, but from a small, single-center study with circumstances that may not typify emergency departments across the United States. In Chicago, at RSNA, I'm Peggy Peck, MedPage Today.